I'm used to it so hey guys what is up and welcome back to my channel um as you tell the title today's video is going to be um my most anticipated albums or music to come out or that is supposed that might come out in 2018 um some of these I mean, some of these are definitely confirmed some of them are not and just me hoping and if you want to know what my personal most anticipated albums of the year are, then just keep watching. Okay, so first, I'm just gonna say this one first, because I feel like this is on a lot of people's most anticipated music. Um, it was definitely on my most anticipated list for last year, but then they were like, no, we gotta, we gotta push it back. But it's okay. It's A-OK. -okay. Actually, the first two bands that I'm talking about are actually just like this, but I feel like this one I need to talk about, um... Five Seconds Summer. They have, it's been a hot minute since they've released an album. I don't know. I don't want to go into this. I'm very excited about this. I'm anticipating. I have high expectations for it. Um, but at the same time, not so high expectations for it. Since it has been so long, I feel like there is a lot of expectation for them to put out a bomb ass album. But, which like, they should do anyway, even if it hadn't been a long time. But, I feel like they, it's taken them so long, they said um, that they're going to be changing up their sound a little bit and, but like, there's a few ideas I have of what direction they could take it into, but I'm not totally sure so I don't really want to say anything. Um, but I feel like with that, a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of controversy with it and like people are either going to love it or they're going to hate it. I can just I just have this feeling that a lot of like OG Five Sauce fans are going to love it, but also a lot of OG Five Sauce fans are going to hate it because it's not typical five sauce but it's not I'm really proud of them and I'm really excited for them I'm excited for them to change up and do what they want to do not what a label wants them to do which is kind of like I think what their whole thing is right now with them changing and doing like because they evolve as people their music needs to evolve too I think that's going from just their self-titled album to Sounds Good Feel Good it was a very big difference in like meanings behind the songs going from them being I don't want to say immature to more mature still immature boys and them now being all adults and just like having a new meaning in life so i have a feel like this album's gonna be i feel like I, I wasn't planning on talking this long about this album but i feel like this album's gonna be very meaningful to them and their fans and hopefully it'll get them some new fans because they're changing it and hopefully a lot of people will like their new sound um, and it'll give them a different image than they have had in the past of being this boy band thing, whatever. Those are just my thoughts. I rambled for way too long about that, then I should have. Um, the next, um, most anticipated one is another band where originally they had a set release date for 2017. They ended up pushing it back because a lot of people didn't like all the, song, the single they released, so they were going to change things. I think you can figure this one Fall Out Boy I have mixed feelings since Champion was such a good song. I have a reaction video to it. By the way, go check it out if you want. I'm just excited. Hopefully it'll be good. It's probably gonna be different than a lot of old Fall Out Boy and that's okay. Music changes, things change. I'm gonna be open to it. Get Next, honestly, is my most anticipated, like even more than five sauce at this point. It is solely my most anticipated thing and it already has a release date it's literally coming out this month but i'm so excited for this album to come out this band is currently my favorite band of all time right now i have fallen in love with them since late 2016 is when i discovered them and found them and ever since then i have been obsessed and i love them a lot and this is water parks entertainment um this, this album is scheduled to come out on january 26th this month not that long i'm so excited blonde and lucky people have already they've already released the singles and they're so good and i'm so obsessed love it i'm so excited for it i cannot wait for it to come out and hear the rest of the <laughs> words i cannot wait for it to come out and hear the rest of the song on the album because i know they're gonna be great because the double dare is great and double dare next is a person a person love love her um, who I have, I've seen live before once, once in my life, and I love her so much, she's like, I love her, oh my heart, she hasn't released any music in like over five years, I think, 
and she was like the essence of like my childhood kind of anyway avril lavigne um she is planning on releasing music this year it's not set in stone i know she's been working on stuff and she just talked about how she wants to kind of like go back to her original sound and kind of keep it in that realm of things but with like a more meaningful like mature aspect to it which i'm super excited about avril lavigne is one of like my like favorite artist of all time i love her i love her style next on my list is like pacific um they are a pop punk band who i discovered back in 2016 and i had actually like for the first i had like heard they made it before but like nothing like major or anything like that like really like didn't really know it was them but going back i'm like oh i think i've heard this song before you know if you get you get that kind of thing um but anyway words i first like discovered them i guess you could say back in 2016 at warp tour um i went to warp tour obviously but one of the main reasons i went to warp tour was to see with confidence and meet them which i got to do and they were playing on a full sale stage so whenever me and my friend we went we had gone you know got to the stage a little early just to make sure we could get like a good barricade spot so we got there like while the other band was playing and we went to their like merch stand bought some merch the guy gave us some wristbands to go and meet them afterwards so it was a good time um so we we're sitting there and then after we done out we were waiting for them to come on to so the band before them was coming on and it ended up being like pacific by the time we didn't know who they were but we were sitting there and it's like they're, they're cool we like them you know obviously it was like super chill i don't know i just kind of like i don't know i got into it he the least time he was very in to it anyway that was a pretty long story of how i discovered them but here we are and um yeah i'm back to the point in this video was i've heard that they've been in the studio like working on some new music there's no like confirmed anything by any means of that music will be coming out this year and like that but i know they've been working on stuff which i'm super excited about whether it comes out this year or 2019 or they just announced or they released some singles or something like that. I'm still super excited for them releasing music because, um, yeah, I, I don't, we're, <laughs> the next band. The next band I'm super excited for to release new music is Weezer. I have been a fan of Weezer since, like, forever. Like, it was one of the bands that I grew up listening to, like, had on my iPod that, like, my family listened to and stuff like that. And... I ended up seeing them live back when they co-headlined with Panic, um, and yeah, but they're going to be releasing the Black Album this year, which I'm so excited about, um, because, yeah, I don't know, it's supposed to be super dark, like a lot darker than some of the other stuff, and just more like, I don't really know how to put it, I'm not going to explain you things, but if you know, you've heard about Weezer, you know about them releasing this album, then you'll kind of know what I mean, because they released the white album, this is the black album, so it's going to be a little darker, a little grungier, and I'm excited because I love me some grunge. The last album I am anticipating um, for 2018 is Liam Payne. He has been in the works on creating new music. Uh, there is no like official release date, it's not confirmed or anything, that like a specific date or anything, but I know that he's been working on music and I am just excited for it because like I, I don't know, I'm not a super, I'm not super into hip hop music, which is what he has gone, the, the, the field, the field, the journey, the trail, the genre he has delved into in his solo career more so than anything else. But I have getting, hi words, I have been getting into it a lot more recently. Um, and I don't know, I'm super excited for his stuff because his stuff that he released has been good. It's been very like upbeat and fun. And you know, you need a little of that. Mm. You know, you need a little bit of that in your life. So I'm super excited to see what he does with himself in a full album. And like, you know, because I think it'll be good because it's Liam Payne. Anyways, that is it, guys, for this video. Um, make sure just to comment down below if you are also anticipating some of these album releases this year or any other bands or artists i didn't mention in this video that you're anticipating music from this year um and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like to subscribe to know when i post new videos and that is it so until next time peace out
Okay, wait, 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 wait. 